Praise the Lord, everybody. It's Brother Emmanuel here. Um, I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to fade in and out tracks um, in channels in Ableton, how to automate that. Um, so I'll just do it really quickly. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to need two channels. And uh, you're going to need a blank dummy track or a dummy clip. And basically a dummy clip is just a clip that has no audio in it. Okay. And uh, so next, let's go ahead and get our, our sample or our click. So if you're using backing tracks, it works the same way. So we have our click and we have our dummy track. So I'm going to name this channel where the dummy track is on. Um, I'm going to name it Automation. And then when my click track is on, I'm going to name it Click. Okay. And so what you're going to want to do is you want to go, going to want to go to your scenes here. We'll have this scene called uh, the click scene. And we'll have at the bottom here, the fade out scene. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this uh, dummy clip, you're gonna drag it down. Let's make this color like, you know, an automation color, so gray, nice transparent gray. And we'll get rid of the text on our dummy track and we'll make our dummy track actually black so we can notice it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the dummy track Make sure it's warped. Now, if this area didn't come up after hitting, you know, clicking on the dummy track twice, just hit on this uh, bottom right hand corner. We're gonna make sure it's warped by hitting warp. We're going to turn off loop. And we're gonna go here to our envelopes and we're going to uh, automate a fade out for the track volume. And I like to normally do it in three bars. And so now that that's done in three bars, I'm going to make another dummy clip on the click channel. Again, going to get rid of the name, make it black so I know it's a dummy clip. I'm going to click on that, and this time we want warp to be on, loop to be off, and um, good. We don't want any sort of envelope on it. And so the last thing we have to do is click on the little arrow pointing down next to the clip. And um, you want to quantitize the this dummy track to four bars, and you want to quantitize the next one in the automation channel to none. And why is it? Why are we doing it like that? Because as soon as I hit the fade out, I don't want there to be any delay. I want it to just immediately fade out. And after it's done fading out in three bars, the fourth bar it'll turn off the track. If I could set quantitize to three bars, I would, but I don't see an option for that. So the last thing you'll need to do is you'll need to um, make another dummy track here. I'm just going to copy the one from the same area, put it right next to my click track scene, and um, I'm going to set the I'm going to set the envelope to zero this time instead of having it um, as a fade out. So now this is automating the volume to be zero. And so what you'll get is when you click on the uh, click track, um, oh, I forgot one last thing. The last thing you wanna do is you wanna send the audio to the automation tab. And the way to do that, um, if you don't see it, you're gonna wanna go to the right hand side here where it says IO, hit that button. So we're gonna send audio to automation. And then on the automation channel, we're gonna hit the monitor to in and um, we're going to make sure it says audio from click. All right. And so it should be blue like this. And so what will happen now is you'll hit click and you can fade out. And notice how it fades out here and um, fades out nice and smooth and the, and the track stops. And, you know, the dummy track is going to go and it's going to end. Um, now, if you want to make it to where it doesn't stop um, after it fades out, you can just hit, uh, you can delete that dummy track and simply remove the stop button and it'll do the same thing. Fade out, it'll fade out, but the track will still keep going. And so this is useful if you have different sends and returns and you don't want the click track to, you don't want it to end for everybody else, but just for the front of house maybe. To fade in, it's the same thing. You just reduce, reverse that curve. So uh, I hope this video helped everybody. Let me know if you want a more in-depth tutorial on it or if you want to do the same thing but in uh, session view, um, I'd be more than happy to make a tutorial. So God bless you guys and thanks for watching this video.